welcome to another brand new video today we are going to talk about awesome feature in CapCut and that is called graphs so first of all you have to know that why graphs are so much important and what is the purpose of the graphs the primary purpose of graphs in CapCut is to enhance the transitions between keyframes they make the animation smoother dynamic and produce many other effects to improve the quality of your clips however you can only use these features on videos with keyframes animation effect they enable you to determine the direction of your zoom movement and highlight certain objects therefore we will first demonstrate how to include keyframe effect for the graphs you create a new project here i have a video on my phone and this is the simple video i add another one to demonstrate it properly so this is one video and this one is the second one i go to the second one and choose first as i demonstrated before need to have keyframes to add the graph so i add one keyframe here and all the way and i add another keyframe and at the second keyframe it's red now i can zoom and make it like wherever i need if i just go back and i can add other keyframes as well like at this place i can zoom in and maybe like i can change it like this direction with your fingers you can pinch and if i play this is the simple video and now this is with the keyframes as you can see now we will move to the graph section um this one select this one one keyframe any keyframe you select here and scroll all the way right side and you will see the graph options here you can choose a variety of graphs from different presets available is in one and is in two but i will go for the custom and if i go to edit section you will see that there is only one and i can add more so here you have to understand that this one allows you to add beats on your point for example you know i pause it and add other some beats like this one so wherever i want to add beat i can add this one and move up and down the higher and closer the beats are the faster the animation will move if you set a beat lower than the beat behind the animation movement will be backward use the delete button here as you can see this is delete and add beats to delete any beat you are not happy with so let's say i want to add more beats and i want this one to be like this one as i explain here that this is um, the transitions between one keyframe to another here we have to understand one more important thing that is x-axis and y-axis what is x-axis x is the time from one keyframe to another for example this this is here one keyframe and the other one we gave three keyframes on our video so one two and here three so that would be x axis would be the time from from one keyframe to another one meanwhile y is the value of the keyframe motion simply you can say it's the distance y is the distance meanwhile x is the time in which time it should cover the distance and how smoother it should look like you can check with the help of these beats and in the meantime if you're adding some music then these beats will help you a lot and it has other purposes as well to make the transition smoother and nicer instead of just keyframes uh, keyframes are also good but this one will give you more awesome look of your video so now we have added so many beats here and if i play here like this this is without keyframes and now this is with the graphs and keyframes it look like this one is more smoother and more nicer if i just give any beats or song or any music then it would be great for this video all right so i hope i gave you some basic and advanced ideas as well 
if you like this video then thumbs up and subscribe if you have any further comments about these graphs then write in the comment section down below so that i will respond to you and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye